Over the years, the literature within dialysis access has looked at what is more beneficial for a patient, to have a fistula or a graft or a tunnel dialysis catheter. Originally, they, the thought was that those patients with dialysis catheters do a lot worse. And so if you take all patients starting with dialysis and you divide them up into those patients with a fistula or a graft or a catheter on the other side, those patients with catheters do a lot worse because of increased infections, increased central venous stenosis resulting in swelling and other difficulties. The thought over the years was that this was all related to the dialysis catheter itself. There is an increased risk of infection because it's a foreign body that is introduced into the internal jugular vein with the tip of the catheter being at the entrance of the heart. The other side of the catheter is exits through the skin and uh, has an entrance, allows for bacteria from the skin or from the outside world to enter into the central circulation. However, over time, it was found that not everybody requires a fistula or a graft. And perhaps there are a subset, subset of patients that can benefit from a catheter over a fistula or a graft. Those patients that can benefit have been looked into with many other studies that I'm not going to go through now. The point is that there are some patients, whether they're elderly, have many comorbid conditions, um, maybe they have a decreased ejection fraction where the heart is not strong enough to support a fistula or a graft with all the extra flow of blood coming back to the heart. And those patients may benefit from a tunneled hemodialysis catheter. However, those patients are few and far between. For the most part, those patients starting dialysis should start with a fistula or a graft. I'm going to draw a simplified picture of the fistula in order to explain what actually is going on inside the arm, which will also allow me to explain the complications and also how we treat them. So if we start from the heart and blood flowing out of the heart, down the arteries towards the arm and the hand, the surgeon will create a connection between the arterial tree and the venous tree. And so therefore the blood comes down the artery, down the arm, towards the hand, but also because of this new connection, the blood flows through the vein. This part is the fistula. This is where the needles will be placed for dialysis. The word fistula just means connection. However, in the dialysis world, we call the fistula the area where the needles are going to be cannulated into the vein. If the patient does not have a good vein and suitable for this connection, the surgeon will use a graft which is a foreign body, which is a foreign material made of PTFE, which is connected to the artery down here and to a larger vein higher up in the arm. And therefore the area that will be cannulated for dialysis will be the graft area. The idea behind a fistula or a graft is that the body protects the fistula or the graft from infection and from other problems by using the barrier of the skin to protect what's going on underneath. With a catheter, the catheter is on the outside and any, any bacteria from the skin or the outside world can potentially creep into the, the circulation and cause infections. Therefore, overall, between quality of life and decreasing risk of infection, the fistula or graft is a better option than the hem that hemodialysis tunnel catheter.